Hey, what's up, everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me on my last overnighter of 2023. And I am up here in the beautiful Oregon Mountains of New Mexico, one of my favorite campsites to relax. And as you can see, I did bring my little buddy here. So we finally received our plaque for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. So big thank you to all our fans, all our viewers who've been supporting us and encouraging us for years. I mean, some of you guys go back almost nine years ago when we were first beginning, and we are eternally grateful for all that love and support, especially big shout out to my patrons who are the backbone of Junkyard Fox, and you literally put your money where your mouth is and believed in us through the thick and the thin, and don't think we forget, we are always grateful for you guys, for both myself and Cuervo. Uh, speaking of Cuervo, sadly he could not be here. It's around that time of flu season, so he did come on a little bit under the weather, and so right now he's just at home eating soup, taking it easy, spending time with his loved ones. So let's wish him a speedy recovery so I can get him out here in January. So with that being said, guys, you know the deal. I'm going to relax, have myself a couple of cold Coors Banquets, get the fire going and cook up some delicious food. We're going to be eating some green chili dogs today. A classic staple in the Junkyard Fox menu. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started. So here's my crappy tinder bundle. It is moist because it was raining all day yesterday, probably raining this morning as well. So everything's wet, but I'm not in the mood to put up a fight with that thing. So I'm gonna use a little cheat. I do have these fierce fires from Old Growth Artisan. These things are awesome. They get that fire going. They look like little beef jerky sticks. And let's just use that to get that fire ignited. And then once it catches, it'll, it'll keep burning, so. Break out the lighter. Come on.
There we go, finally getting it going. I got that fierce fire right there in the corner. There's a second one up here somewhere. Oh, right there. And slowly getting that fire going. So it took a while, but we finally have the fire going. And now let's start getting ready to cook up some dinner. So we're gonna be making some green chili dogs. We have a full video on how to make them up here in the corner or just watch this video. But we got the green chili or Anaheim peppers. These are basically gonna be the buns. And then we have jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage. We're gonna stuff that with some cheddar cheese and then wrap it with some bacon. And then of course we got the toothpicks there. I also have some spices to dabble on there as well. I gotta bring them out. But yeah, I'm about to start throwing the green chili onto the fire so they can start roasting so I can peel them. Our green chilies, I just removed them from the fire. I have them wrapped up in a plastic bag. That makes them sweat, which makes them easier to peel in like 15 minutes from now. In the meantime, let's start setting up our green chili dogs. And I did just receive some new knives for testing from Bear Forest Knives. This is a custom maker here in America. Somewhat new, I think he started about three years ago, but my God, are these beautiful. So check this out. This one's called the Simple. As you can tell, it's something like a, just a classic Puko style blade, very thin, Scandi grind. I think this one's gonna be really great for Cuervo. He's gonna love this one. And then I have this other one which is called the Pickens Game Knife. And I think this one's more my style with more of a skinning type of blade, more of like a little mini butcher knife with that curve, flat grind. Very beautiful, but let's have some fun and put these guys to work. So let's break out four of these hot dogs, these sausages. So there's a lot of flame this way, so I'm just gonna place them over here so they can cook nice and slow. I don't want them getting burnt, especially with the grease from the bacon. The flames are gonna start jumping up, so I don't want them to overheat, over, overcook, I'm sorry. There you go. All right, we've had these guys cooking for some time now, about 15 minutes, and I would say that they're ready. Look at that, hell yeah.
Can you hear the sizzle? Okay, so here we have our green chili dogs. The cheese is nice and melted. It's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and break out our green chili and it's gonna be nice and warm in here. So right now the skin just removes very easily. It just slides right off. And then you just simply open it. I mean, you, you don't even have to use a knife. There's already openings here from the heat that cut a hole. And then you place one of these in here. And so this is once again, technically the bun of your green chili dog. folks so moment of truth time to grub out pork world was missing out on some delicious green chili dogs so once again we're using the green chili roasted as a bun then we're just uh stuffing the sausage with some cheddar cheese and wrapping it with bacon put in some spices and then roasting it right up mm Hmm. Good stuff. Cheers, everyone. Hope y'all are having a good one, and thank you for joining me. Well, folks, I ended up devouring all four of the green chili dogs. I was already full by three, but I decided to be fat and gluttonous and scarf down that last one. And they were delicious. And they're not a complicated meal to make. They're not even expensive to make. So be sure to give these a try. The only problem is that now that I overate is it's hard for me to drink because I just my stomach is full. So I'm going to give it about 20 minutes to just let the food relax before I keep drinking. In the meantime, what do you guys think? about these beautiful bear forest knives. Be sure to follow him on Instagram. He makes some really cool designs. I really love this one. I'm very much a butcher knife style guy or a Skinner type blade guy. Really love this. And then this one's more classic for, you know, bushcrafting and that kind of stuff, whittling, carving, notching. And this one has Gorbo Negro written all over it. So I'm gonna give him this one after our review. So we still gotta test these out for a good six, seven months before the reviews made and then from there i'll give them to Corvo. but let us know what would you like to see us do for testing methods for the reviews on these blades i definitely want to take this one out for like a summertime bullfrog hunt and just catch a couple of frogs and then cook them up you know have ourselves a little feast so yeah good stuff but now it is getting cold we're up here in high elevation and it's getting pretty chilly so i did bring my my brunt boots you've seen me wearing before you know, now they're a little bulky for my taste, but they do retain a lot of heat. And then I am wearing some long johns underneath of my jeans, help retain that heat. And uh, yeah, that fire's looking mighty cozy right now. So let's jump on over there. So seven beers later, I am on my eighth 
and that's going to be it for me. It's about 11 at night, so it's time to call it a night fairly soon. And I did get a message from this girl, Rachel, a couple of hours ago. And I've never met Rachel. She seems really awesome. She's an avid outdoors woman that wanders the same general areas that I do in the Southwest. And uh, we follow each other on social media. And she offered to bring me breakfast tomorrow morning. So that's very sweet of her. That's really awesome. So I'm going to go to sleep early so I'm not all groggy and all that stuff tomorrow when she brings me the breakfast. So, yeah, I'm going to. Head on into the tent pretty soon. Just got to finish this last brew right here. Okay, so we're inside my tent. I fixed the lighting so it's not so uh, hurtful to the eye. And uh, I'm about to go to lay down. Now, Flextail, the company Flextail sent me this little inflatable Tiny Pump 2X. And they sent me, as a gift, an inflatable pillow. I should have probably looked into that before I started drinking, but um, well, you live and you learn. So let's get this out and see if I can get this thing inflated for bed. I don't know, too much work, it's too loud. There we go, got the pillow. This, I still gotta figure out how to do it. It just sounded really loud and you know, yeah, I'm just I'm just too tired to, to hear all that noise. So we'll figure out the flex tail another time. Time to break out the Junkyard Fox, Fox Skull Beanie. The thick wool socks. Okay, folks, so that's about it for me. I'm going to call it a night, get some rest, and I will see you at 6 in the morning, get some coffee going, and get some breakfast. So thank you so much. See you all tomorrow morning. Well, good morning, everyone. So I am on my way to meet my friend Rachel at the entrance of the campsite because the campsite, uh, the gate is closed. They don't allow uh, people come to come in and out till an hour from now. So she's waiting for me there because she can't enter and she has my breakfast. So I'm gonna drive up there so I can grab it. And uh, yeah, beautiful morning. Probably the earliest I've ever woken up when camping. <laughs> So 
So I just got my breakfast from Rachel. It's the first time I meet Rachel. So um, I was nervous and she's just really awesome. And that was very awfully sweet of her to bring me homemade menudo from home. So I can't wait to get to my campsite and enjoy it with some coffee. Yeah, I did fumble the recording when I met her. I was nervous. I was half asleep and I didn't record it at the right time. So I just have this one freeze frame of her. And um, yeah, just rookie mistake, guys. Whenever you're filming, always film two takes and that's a that's something i go by and just for one for some reason i didn't do it today and i you know i should have just checked my camera before you know we went our separate ways so apologies for that rachel but i am very much thankful for the breakfast that was awfully sweet of you in the meantime i'm gonna make the best of it get back to my campsite and enjoy this beautiful sunrise so check it out, there's a lot of cloud cover. It was raining all throughout the night, nothing intense, just a lot of soft patter pattering, very relaxing. And all this is fog covering the valley. It's actually slowly making its way this way. Very nice. And then of course the Oregon Mountains, just a very gorgeous area to explore and hang out at. Okay, time to get the pocket rocket to get some coffee going, but uh, I made an interesting find. <laughs> Check that out. That's poop. Quite possibly fox poop. It looks like whoever dumped this uh, is eating juniper berries in the area. And I guess they visited late last night as I was sleeping because this was not here when I went to bed. I've also found little paw prints. So they've just been exploring my little campsite. Probably they smelled the bacon looking for scraps. There's one paw print right there if you can make it out. There's a couple more. It's heading down this direction. But uh, yeah, sneaky little guys. <laughs> Man, this is nice. Got the limes. What's this? Honey? Oh. And some menudo. Nice. Just need to rinse my spoon really quick. Oh, yeah. And to think I was going to eat a, a sad little cup of ramen for breakfast. It doesn't beat homemade food. So big thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much. This was awfully sweet of you. Even has the garnishes and everything. The onions. Limes. 
And for those of you who don't know, menudo is a traditional Mexican food. It's like a breakfast food, like a, it's like a stew of hominy and sometimes it has pork. Sometimes it'll have other things like beef. And then of course there's like a lot of spices in there uh, on, the, on the broth, really good stuff. All right, so time for some breakfast. So once again, big thank you to Rachel for bringing me this homemade menudo. That is such a thoughtful and sweet gesture. So I'm forever in your debt. Thank you so much, very much appreciate it. So time to grub down. Man, I don't recall last time I ate menudo. Might have been like four years ago. Definitely hits the spot. Well, folks, that's about it for me. I completely devoured the entire bowl of menudo. Once again, big thank you to Rachel. This was delicious. I had not had menudo in years. Funny, every time I think of menudo, I think about the book The Crossing by Cormac McCarthy. And in that book, the main character, Billy Boyd, <clears throat> he's in Mexico and he's been on a bender. He hasn't eaten in days. And on this day, you know, he's feeling hungover. He feels terrible. And so this random lady sees him and she brings him a bowl of menudo. And it's the first time he ever even heard of the meal. And so he eats it and immediately he starts feeling better. And the way he describes the, you know, the, the broth was nice and spicy and it felt nice and hot in his stomach. Because once again, he hadn't eaten in days. And immediately he just feels much better after eating the food. And uh, my brain always connects those two things. A uh, big thank you to Rachel, not only for the food, but she did give me this little jar of honey. Awfully sweet of her. It says, stay wild. And stay wild makes me think of the Duran Duran song, Come Undone. I think there's a lyric in that song that goes, hey, child, stay wild. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not sure. I'm not much of a honey eater. I haven't really, I don't have a lot of experience with it. So I'm going to bring it out here. Uh, I'm probably going to mix it with my coffee next time. Uh, instead of creamer, I think that'll be a healthier alternative. And uh, maybe make some pancakes. And instead of using syrup, I'll use honey instead. So... Big thank you to Rachel once again. And I'm almost done with this cup of coffee. I still have a little bit more, so I'm going to refill it and enjoy one more cup of coffee before I go, which that reminds me of the Bob Dylan song, One More Cup of Coffee Before I Go. <laughs> so check out that song. I love that song so much. I don't know why my brain is just connecting all kinds of things right now. But, uh, but yeah, great breakfast. So that's about it for me. Everything's already been picked on up, put in the truck. Time to get out of here. And uh, here's my little agave stock tripod. It did a good job considering it was just fashioned together in just a couple of minutes. But um, such a shame to leave this behind. I really love it. But of course, I can't take it with me. I got to get back to the city. So I'm probably just going to take it to the back of the bushes over there. And by the time I come back to camp, the stocks will be nice and rotten and they'll burn quickly on the fire. So time to get rid of this and then start packing it on up. Well, folks, that is about it for me. Everything's been packed on up and I got to make my way back to the city because I got to go to work pretty soon. So this will likely not be a very long video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, especially all you folks who have been wanting to get outdoors, breathe in some fresh mountain air, enjoy a nice warm campfire, but you can't do to family responsibilities and Christmas shopping and on, so on and so forth. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this adventure and joined me in spirit. So 
this will likely be the last Junkyard Fox video of 2023. I'm hoping to squeeze in one more, but I can't guarantee it because, you know, it's a very hectic two weeks of December with Christmas and New Year's and, you know, so on and so forth. So I'll do my best to squeeze in one more, but I can't guarantee it. In case I'm not able to, and this is the last video, once again, thank you all so much for your endless support. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Stay warm. Eat some delicious food. Hug your loved ones. Hug your pets especially. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.